Hey guys, so I uh, I wanted to make a video about this real quick um, because this just happened to me as I went to go get my latte today from Starbucks. Um, I decided to take my dog Nikki with me, and um, I use a pinch collar with Nikki. Um, and to demonstrate what a pinch collar is, in case you guys don't know, Nikki, come here, come here, good girl. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is a pinch collar. Um, it, can you have your leash? Not cooperating today. Okay, so this is what a pinch collar looks like. It has prongs, and you attach it by taking those prongs, kind of squeezing them together, and putting it through to make that. Um, a lot of people have questions about pinch collars like this because <laughs> they can get out of the shot. Get out of the shot. Come over here. Come here. Good girl. Um, a lot of people have questions about stuff like this because they don't understand it, they see it, and it looks scary, it looks big, it looks crazy, and um, and on top of the fact that my dog is a Doberman, they assume that she's aggressive because she has to wear this big, gnarly collar. Um, and I just wanted to talk about it for a second and say that um, it's... It's no more or less worse than a slip collar or any other correctional collar. The only thing that this does is it's a little more of a like a, it's like if somebody was to go to you and be like, hey, don't do that, hey, don't do that, like, don't do that. Just a little like, like, jolt, a jolt or a, a nudge, you'd be like, hey. It would be like the equivalent of a uh, mother dog nipping at her pup and going, hey, knock that off, that's not what I want you to do. Um, the girl at the Starbucks was very nice about it. I feel bad because I feel like she thought that I was thinking that she was judging me, which was not the case. Um, I have to always tell people that if I wouldn't put it on myself, I won't put it on my dog. So, because a lot of people ask, and it's just easier to redirect to this, I'm going to put the cinch collar around my neck and show you and demonstrate on my own neck. Okay, see? Now, obviously, it's not going to fit the same way as it would fit on my dog's neck. Also, people have a lot less um, thicker skin and fur to protect, so this is going to hurt on a person a lot more than it would hurt on a dog. So, this is how it works. Like this, tug, and it just tightens it up. All you do is you release. Tug and release. Tug and release. Tug and release. There's nothing about this that hurts. The only reason it would hurt a person is because it gets pinched. Your skin gets pinched when the chain pulls. But like I said just a moment ago, with um, dogs, they have thicker skin and they also have a lot of fur in that area that's going to prevent that from pinching and really hurting them. Um, so I just wanted to make this video about pinch collars because people have a lot of weird feelings about it. And in my case with Nikki, she honestly needs to be wearing one because she doesn't behave else uh, any other time. She only behaves when I have the pinch collar on her. Eventually, I'd like to move it to a time where I don't have to. Maybe I could use something a little less intimidating looking, like a slip collar. But for right now, this is what works for her, and this is what gets her to behave. It doesn't harm the dog in any way, shape, or form. She knows that when I get this out, this means adventure time. This means we're going places, we're doing something. She loves it. And I just wanted to put that out there because... Like I said, a lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about what a pinch collar is and what it does. For a dog like Nikki, who, yes, she is a Doberman pit bull mix, and they have a lot um, higher energy drives, and they're a lot more stubborn than a lot of other dog breeds. And so sometimes you need that, that little bit more of enforcement when it comes to things like that. Anyways, I hope you guys all had a wonderful day. I hope that this helped you and was educational for you. Um, until next time, love you guys.